Okay, we're going to talk about ecosystems today, and the ecosystem we're going to talk about is deserts. And uh, if you look over here in the lower right-hand corner of the slide, uh, we have uh, a map that has uh, shows where the deserts are. Um, there's a large desert in Africa right here, um, large deserts in Australia, uh, South America has deserts all going down down through here, and here in the United States and and uh, Mexico. Uh, that's a desert going, it looks like it's from Texas going down into Mexico and they, they go all the way across New Mexico, Arizona and into California. Uh, there's uh, deserts all through there. Okay, one of the featured populations that we're going to talk about uh, in the desert is the roadrunner. Okay, the roadrunners are amazing animals. They only get to 20 to 24 inches in height. They're very quick on the flat desert terrain and they have special adaptations to survive in this harsh climate. Okay, uh, animal facts about the roadrunner. Uh, interesting facts, roadrunners prefer walking or running to, to flying. Okay, roadrunners are, very, are, are quick enough to catch and eat rattlesnakes. Roadrunners can attain speeds up to 20 miles per hour. Okay, they're home. Uh, the deserts of southwestern uh, United States, Mexico, and Central America, and uh, shelter. In the winter, they find shelter in trees or rocks to avoid cold winds, and their foods are snakes, lizards, gophers, rats, mice, bird eggs, insects, and fruit. And uh, roadrunners are a species that uh, we have here in uh, Central Texas or in Copper's Cove area. Okay, roadrunners, basic needs. Okay, the basic needs of the roadrunner are they need air, water, shelter, and food. Um, their shelter uh, is uh, they take shelter in trees and rocks. Uh, the food they eat there are snakes, lizards, gophers, rats, mice, bird eggs, insects, and fruit. Um, talk about some of the water facts about the uh, roadrunner. Okay, their bodies also continually extract water. If they do not find water, uh, or say if they do find water, they will drink it. To give its young water, the roadrunner holds insects in the tip of its bill, and when the young open its mouth, the parent will regurgitate water into the nestling's mouth before releasing the insect. Okay, and this is about the shelter. Uh, roadrunners live in arid lowland or montane shrubs. Okay, and that's a type of brush that can only grow in harsh circumstances where uh, most other plants won't grow, okay, and are often widely dispersed in, in the dry, okay, open, uh, open country with scattered brush, okay, in the winter they will take shelter in trees or rocks to avoid the cold winds. Okay, talked about some more animal facts, uh, adaptations, roadrunners prefer to walk or run, okay, they have long tails for balance, they can run up to 20 miles per hour, their colorations help them blend into their habitat and avoid predators. Uh, additional facts. Uh, roadrunners have other adap adaptations that help them survive in harsh southwest desert. At night, they can lower their body temperature to compensate for the cold desert air, which saves energy. In the morning, they expose a patch of dark skin on their backs to warm, it, warm up in the sun. Roadrunners are tough to see against the brownish desert background. Their brown speckles and off-white coloration blend in, blend in well with their habitat, which helps them avoid predators and hide from approaching prey. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, the uh, desert community, a few other animals in the desert. You have the bull snake, coyote, scorpion, hawk, and uh, jackrabbit. And uh, first thing, uh, I'll ask, I'm going to ask you some questions, and uh, I want you to pause the video. When I say pause it and see if you can come up with your answer, and we'll come back and check it. So, uh, why do you think that the coyote and jackrabbit have light brown coats? And the second question is, why do you think that some desert animals have large ears? Okay, the first question: Why do you think the coyote and jackrabbit have light brown coats? And it's for camouflage, so they. Uh, uh, like for the uh, jackrabbit, they would be camouflaging to uh, stay away from, away from the coyote or any other predators, and the coyote would use it as camouflage so to help him uh, sneak up on his prey. 
And the uh, second question, why do you think that some desert animals have large ears? And uh, that uh, those ears, like on the jackrabbit, is an ad adaptation to help them cool their bodies uh, so they're cooling through their ears. Okay, the de desert ecosystems. So we have some pictures right there. Uh, I want you to go ahead and take a look at the pictures, the terrain and the ecosystem. And I want you to go ahead and think about a couple things. Uh, how does the climate look? Would you think it's wet or is it dry? Or is it hot or is it cold? So go ahead and think about that for a minute. Pause your video. Okay, um, a lot of y'all, uh, like on, uh, in the pictures you can see it looks dry. Okay, but uh, when it does rain, uh, it could uh, you get flash floods really easy because um, the the ground is very porous and the the water runs runs off very quickly. Uh, hot or cold, and typically you think of deserts as being hot, and in these pictures it's, it probably is pretty uh, pretty hot in those pictures right there. But at night it cools down a lot, even in the summertime um, of uh, in the desert the temperature drops a considerable amount. Uh, I can remember one time uh, going through um, um, Cal California and into Nevada, uh, being there of an evening in, the, in June. It got it got cold enough that it was uncomfortable because uh, I was planning on camping uh, out there, and uh, I figured it was a June time in the desert it wouldn't be that bad. But it's cold enough that it, I, you know I did not I didn't have a sleeping bag, so it was cold enough as uncomfortable I couldn't sleep. Talk some more about the desert ecosystem. Okay, uh, it's the plant life is cactus, prickly pears, Joshua trees, small shrubs, succulents, and low-lying plants. Uh, the climate, the temperature ranges from 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing, okay, in the winter to above 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. The des desert receives less than 13 inches of rain a year, and in the winter, it may snow. Um, landscape is rocky, hard soil, in some areas of sandy soil. Uh, some more uh, about the desert. There are different kinds of deserts around the world. This presentation focuses on deserts in the United States. The Mojave is a desert uh, where temperature extremes uh, and they have two distinct seasons. Winter is cold, uh, spring uh, weather is, in, in the spring they have rainstorms. Summer is dominated by heat and dry winds. The autumn is dry and sunny. Plants and animals have special adaptations to survive in this dry, arid climate. Soils are coarse, textured, shallow, rocky, or gravelly with good drainage and have no surface water. They are coarse because, uh, because of less chemical weathering. Okay, the finer dust and sand particles are blown elsewhere, leaving heavier pieces behind. Sand and gravel basins drain to central salt flats from which borax, potash, and salt are extracted. Animals include desert bighorn sheep, desert, uh, desert fox, coyote, uh, spotted skunks, spotted bats, uh, black-tailed jackrabbits, ground squirrels, kangaroo rats. Okay, and white-footed mouse. Birds include eagles, hawks, owls, quail, roadrunners, fishes. Uh, wobblers. Uh, reptiles include desert tortoise, several species of rattlesnakes, and uh, several species of lizards.